if you've got wandering eyes, if you're trying to compare your spouse to these airbrushed images of people who aren't even real, man, that is just wrong. All right, so physical health and marriage. This is always a hot topic and one that a lot of couples want to avoid, I think, except for maybe those, those rare couples where both have, I don't know, they see it in the same value as, right, as each right. other. But most of the time, one spouse really values physical health, really is good at physical health, and the other's like, mm, it's okay. You know? Or you're maybe just on different different, different places different with places it. It's in the less, journey. less of a priority. Right, yeah. And you know, we've learned through the years, we're wired up a lot differently you know, in this yes. area and like what we like to eat, what we like to do. But we decided early on in our marriage, um, as our marriage is kind of going through seasons of what we call in thickness and in health, not yep. just in sickness and in health, but we've mm -hmm. had the full range of, you know, being being thick and being like less thick and being healthy, being less healthy. And we yeah. said like overall, like, yeah, we get it. We need to live and enjoy life and eat foods we like and all that. But we also need to go back to what scripture says in First Corinthians, which is we need to honor God with our bodies. And we've discovered that if we'll both make health a priority, and again, not not to the extreme. I mean, I, I still have love handles, don't worry. I'm not gonna <laughs> give you like tips on how to see your abs because I can't see mine. But when we just kind of like overall say, let's make health a priority in our home, what it right. does is it honors God, our creator, who gave us these bodies. Uh, and until we get to heaven and have permanent perfect ones, we've got these temporary ones that it's kind of up to us to do our part to keep them as healthy as we can so we can do all God has called us to do. Yep. But it also is an act of respect to our spouse to say, by taking care of my body, since we're one flesh, I'm also investing in, in the health of our marriage and the energy I have to be at my best for you. It's so true. And it's never our job to criticize our spouse when it comes to physical health, but it is our job to encourage. So what does that look like practically speaking? It means giving your spouse the time and the space they need to pursue having better physical health. That maybe means like you watch the kids a little bit more than you're used to so they can go take that Zumba class they've been wanting to take. It means maybe in the morning you get the kids ready on certain days of the week so that your spouse can go for a run. It means not buying those foods that you know are trigger foods for your spouse because you know that they're gonna feel bad about it because they can't say no to it. And I'm talking to myself here and we learned this the hard <laughs> yeah, way. There are so many of those but for me. we have to support each other and encourage each other. Yeah, and then when you do have those days and you're, and you're eating those trigger foods, you know what, enjoy it as en a gift from enjoy God. Enjoy your, your free day. He, yes. he, he made those goodies and in moderation, <laughs> those are a treat from him. Like Ashley said though, this is the physical health part especially are decisions we have to make for ourselves. And if your spouse ever feels like you're critiquing them in yeah. this area or that you're not attracted to them at, at the moment, that's heartbreaking and that's just flat yeah. out wrong. And so your spouse needs to know in every season and ev wherever they are in their health that you have eyes only for them and they are your standard of, of what attraction is. They are the yes. only one that you're drawn to uh, romantically, sexually, or otherwise. If you've got wandering eyes, if you're trying to compare your spouse to these airbrushed images of people who aren't even real, man, that is just wrong. Yeah. Like your spouse needs to know you are into where they are right now. And yeah, you want them to be at their best, but if, if they're petite, you're into petite. If they are full figured, you are into full figured. If they are wherever they are, you're into them. You're attracted to them. You love them exactly as they are. And together, know, with the security that comes from knowing that you both love each other exactly where you are, that creates an environment where you both can be healthier, mind, body, and soul. Absolutely, and I just wanna say real quick, if your spouse is facing a health battle, make sure that you're right there in the corner with them. That means going to appointments, that means reassuring them that you're not leaving their side, that you will get through this together, that God has great plans for the two of you, and that this is a battle that you both are facing because it's never a his problem only or a her problem only, it's always our problem. So make sure that you're right there for each other, encouraging each other all along the way.